Okay, so today I just want to show a real quick and easy way to fill up your coolant system on an MK5. Uh, it's probably work for, you know, GoFar or um, 7s and 6s. Pretty much any coolant system, you know, works the same way where your coolant reservoir is going to be the highest point on the coolant system. So all you have to do is find the next highest point that's below the coolant reservoir, which happens to be on an MK5, this spout that's coming off for the return line here that goes to the, um, so that goes to the reservoir along the back. Um, all you're really going to need, obviously, is your coolant, 50-50 mix. I used, you know, OEM, you know, VW. You can use whatever you feel like it, but uh, that's the stuff you need for these ones, the pink stuff. Um, and uh, a vacuum pump. This is a Mighty Vac. You can get these at any AutoZone or whatever for like 20, 30 bucks. And um, all you have to do is take off that line, like I said, so that that nipple's open. And what you're gonna do is fill up the reservoir until you start to get a little bit of fluid coming out of there. Hopefully I can stop it and pour without making too much of a mess. Now, obviously, you're going to want to make sure that all your other coolant lines and stuff are full. And you're not leaking anywhere. So, just give it a minute. See if I can, uh, if I have how much I have to keep going. Looks like it still needs more. wait for it to kind of settle mm, take sometimes it takes a while this was pretty low still settling so I'm gonna pause it until it gets to the certain point because there's actually a lot missing so give me one minute Okay, so I got my finger over it because it just started popping out. So you're going to see it's coming out, steady stream. So once you get that, you're going to put the pipe, the hose back on. So you, obviously you're not spewing everywhere. Let me get this thing tightened up. Well, that wasn't, that was not gracious. Or her, but what are you gonna do? So here we go. See, now I got the pipe back on there. I just gotta tighten that up real quick. Ooh, wrong way. No, I don't want to break it again, so I don't want to go too tight. And now that we're at that point. Now what we're gonna do is the Mighty Vac side. So you're gonna wanna keep your coolant globe full or else you will start sucking in air. So we're gonna put a little bit extra in there. All it has to do is fill up that line so it's not gonna be too much. And then you connect your vacuum pump to the end of the return line and then you just start pumping. And as you can see, I'm starting to get fluid already in there. And once it's a steady flow, just like that, nice and clean, no bubbles, your coolant system is full. And you can go ahead and reattach the coolant return line to the globe and just make sure you've got, you know, the correct amount of fluid. I look, looks like I'm going to have to uh, take a little bit out, but I can just do that with, like, you know, I have actually tur turkey basted to do that. But that's a really quick, efficient way to make sure you have coolant in your lines. Now, when you start it, you're gonna to wanna to watch the level, obviously with the heater on, in case something came out of the heater core. But besides that, that's the quick, easy, fast way to, to fill up your Volkswagens. Sorry for the train, this happens like all the time. It must be noon, but um, yeah. So, 
that's how a quick, efficient way to make sure your coolant is completely full in your in your Volkswagen, and that way you don't have to worry about the self burping and overheating issues that you know come with just turning it on and waiting for it to heat up. So, hope that was a real quick, you know, tutorial about getting it up, um, getting your coolant system full without worrying about overheating your engine. So for now, take it easy and I'll talk to you next time.